good morning, Pine Belt. Get ready for a nice day out there. A little even nicer than yesterday that wasn't too bad out there, though we did end up a little warmer than expected with the cloud cover moving in initially and then the showers popping up. And in between those, the sun com coming up with high humidity still got us up to about 93 for our high yesterday. A couple of degrees higher than I expected to see. And now that the sun is up here from Jones College in Ellisville, looking quite beautiful, you can see the sky is clear. But thanks to uh, that moisture that moved through yesterday, that was really a feeder band of barrels. It eventually became a cold front. Uh, which is uh, going to improve our conditions. That's one reason why everything's so dry out there. We'll even be a tad bit, well, cooler now. But as we head into the afternoon, it's actually going to start warming up a bit. But thankfully, that lower humidity makes it feel pretty good for a little bit. So for this morning, clear skies and cool lows. Cool lows uh, in a quotes there because I do expect uh, it to still be a couple of degrees above average. Average for this time of year is 72. I believe we're at 74 right now. As you can see, I wasn't getting much uh, data there from my, my banners. Uh, I probably have to restart the computer. Just don't have a chance to do it during the show here. As we head into the afternoon, we'll see some cloud cover moving in, just scattered about the area. Those uh, fair weather cumulus clouds, not expecting them to grow in uh, sufficient uh, form to bring us any showers or anything like that. A stray sprinkle is not completely out of the question, especially if you're on the far southern end of the area. I do expect some coastal activity and it could try to drift towards us, but that drier air should keep anything from uh, from noticeably forming out there. You see the cloud cover though slowly building us up as we head into the afternoon and get up to a high of about 94, just one degree hotter than yesterday. And again, that's despite not having all those showers out there. That upper level high has retreated off towards the east. We basically have a, a low pressure area overhead now and that's going to help out a little bit, help generate those clouds later on, but not bringing us any, any rainfall into the area uh, due to daytime heating. In fact, I don't expect any rainfall at all for the rest of the week and even uh, the start of the weekend. It's going to be the start of next week when we finally see that moving in and even that's just those 30% uh, chances of some scattered activity pushing in. Saturday brings us a slightly higher chance at about 10%. I had one for Friday yesterday, dropped that off. Again, coastal activity out there expected, just light and spotty, and it could potentially try to drift towards us there, but I don't expect it to make it too far like today. So over the last six hours, you can see some of those evening showers pushing off as that front continued to push through the area. We'll see that coastal cloud cover and uh, possible showers still lingering right there on the waterfront. Cloud cover kind of drifting our direction. That's what makes that stray sprinkle not impossible. But again, it's not worth planning your day around and I expect even less of it as we head into tomorrow. So you see the clouds building there. We get back into the mid 90s. Uh, this is running a little cool for what I believe we'll see, but that'll get us back into the mid 90s by tomorrow and the humidity still playing nicely. So I still don't expect that we'll be into the uh, 100s again as far as the heat index goes until the end of the week and Friday just barely hitting that mark before we start inching up and not expecting that dangerous heat to move back in when that's when you get your heat index above 105 five there, which is pretty much where we've been for about the last two weeks, it feels like. So despite the air temperature getting pretty warm, climbing very close up there to the uh, 100s as it is, it's going to have to wait until we head into the weekend and that humidity really starts to bump up before we get back to that uncomfortably and even dangerous with long term exposure. Uh, heat and humidity. So the next couple of mornings still expected to be on the cooler side, but afternoons just go up from here all the way up to almost 100 before those showers move in and take us back down a couple of degrees towards the mid 90s.